Welcome to the Research Innovation Festival. I'm David Hobson from the Research Innovation Office at the University of Guelph, and I help manage the Griffin's Layer Funding Program, where we move agri-food research to the market by de-risking it and making it useful to industry. So today, we're very lucky to have a fireside chat with Mr. Kevin Puno. He's one of our U of G alumni, and he's going to share his entrepreneurial journey. Welcome, Kevin. Thanks for having me. So, Kevin, you've uh, been living the fast track for the last few years at the university, and it's my understanding that you started as an undergraduate student, uh, wanted to become a plant scientist, then moved into a master's degree, I believe, with Max Jones in plant agriculture. And during your master's, you started a company. And uh, you even operated that company during your grad school. And then about a year after you graduated, you actually sold your company to your competitor, who is an international player. And now I believe you're working for that company as the lead scientific consultant. Is that correct? Yes, that's all correct. That sounds like a pretty fascinating track that you've done in just a few years. So what is this technology that all of this is based on? You know, why do we need this? So the technology is for plant tissue culture, which is a science where we take small pieces of plants and grow them in a sterile container. Um, and the, the existing technology uh, was kind of a carryover from the 80s and 90s, um, and it hadn't changed very much in a long time. Um, so we brought a bunch of innovations and one of the main features of the system is that it's modular. So it can do a whole bunch of different things um, by attaching different pieces in different places. Okay. And, and so did you always want to be an entrepreneur? No, it hadn't always occurred to me. Um, I did sort of run my own business in web design, but it was a freelance contract kind of work. Um, I never thought about starting my own company before. Okay, so so why did you start this company? Well, we had an opportunity with the the invention that we had made as part of our research, um, and I saw the opportunity. Uh, I wasn't sure at first, but after going through the Guelph Accelerator program, it uh, you know it, it seemed like an actual possibility um, rather than just a vague idea. And I decided you know it was time to take a leap. Startups are always very dependent on funding. How successful would your company have been if you didn't get those Griffin Layer grants? We wouldn't have been able to even get off the ground. Um, we wouldn't have been able to fully test or prototype the product, and uh, we certainly wouldn't have made it to the startup phase. Well, thank you very much, Kevin, for that fascinating journey. It just goes to show that grad students can create startup companies as well and move their research from the lab to the real world where they can make a difference and improve life. So watch out for more interviews with our innovators during the week. And don't forget to dial in on the 19th of May for the Griffin Lair pitch finale. See you then.